which way to look at gravity is more profound is einstein's way in which space time fabric fabric is a four dimensional uh, thing or is it the exchange particle concept of gravitons which one is correct correct well uh, we know that general relativity which looks upon space time as a four dimensional fabric it is a stage upon which or within which the universe uh, plays out so that definitely uh, it is the best theory of gravitation that we have as of today it is a very accurate theory it, it uh, all of its predictions thus far have been proven to be correct and it is being tested all the time and it is the most accurate theory that we have thus far so einstein's view the space the four dimensional space time fabric is definitely correct but it is not completely correct because we know that there are certain uh certain scales at, at which it breaks down for example we are unable to quantize curved space time four dimensional space time we are unable to do it uh, quantum field theory is not compatible with general relativity and we have these singularities that uh, this theory throws up in the form of what happens within the hypothetical black holes space and time uh, the curvature becomes infinite the mass energy density also becomes infinite this is an indication that the theory breaks down at the quantum level at the ultra microscopic level so there's definitely a better theory out there somewhere we still haven't figured it out and the one of the ways we are looking to do this is to quantize gravity to have a quantum theory of gravity in which the hypothetical graviton will be the mediator of this of this force it will be the exchange particle let me show, share the this this image so this is the standard model of physics this is the best theory of particle physics that we have the best theory that describes the 5% of the universe that we can actually see so you have these uh, three generations generations of matter the quarks the leptons and the gauge bosons you have six quarks you have the leptons electron muon tau lepton and the corresponding neutrinos then you have the gluon which is the exchange particle for the strong nuclear force you have the photon which does it for electromagnetism and you have the w and z bosons that are the gauge bosons for the weak nuclear force and then you have the higgs boson that imparts mass to various particles and which is responsible for the mass of the universe now if the graviton concept is correct then you would have one more 18th particle here which would be the graviton which would be the gauge boson for the quantum theory of gravitation for for quantum gravity well thus far we have seen uh, no evidence that this actually is correct the the graviton is a hypothetical spin zero particle boson so this thus far has not been proven it is far from being proven so the best theory that we have as of today is einstein's general relativity four dimensional space time but there could be a better theory out there and that's what we are seeking so maybe gravitons do exist but we are very far from seeing any experimental evidence of gravitons and very far from formulating a proper theory a coherent consistent theory of quantum gravity